Hey guys, Moisan here and in today's video we're going to be talking about topical finasteride versus oral finasteride and which one I would recommend to promote hair growth. So guys, I have been receiving a lot of comments regarding hair loss and to make a content on topical finasteride. So guys, before I start, I just wanted to remind you that if you're having hair loss, it is always very important to see your doctor for proper diagnosis and treatment. Finasteride is a prescribed medication and should not be used without prescription. Finasteride is a medication that is used to treat benign prostatic hyperplasia or BPH in men. So BPH is a medical condition where the men's prostate enlarges, making it difficult for men to pee or to urinate. So since 1997, finasteride has been used to treat male pattern baldness in men. So finasteride blocks the conversion of testosterone, which is a male hormone, to a more stronger hormone called DHT. So once that hormone is blocked, the prostate shrinks making it easier for men to pee and it will also promote hair growth in men. So oral finasteride is taken by mouth daily or as directed by your doctor. Finasteride 5mg or Proscar is a medication that is used to treat benign prostatic hyperplasia and finasteride 1mg which is Propecia is used to treat male pattern baldness in men. So oral finasteride is the only approved medication by the FDA to treat male pattern baldness. So topical finasteride on the other hand is a medication that is applied on your scalp to promote hair growth. So there has been some studies that shows a positive result when finasteride topically is applied on the scalp with lesser side effect. But guys, you have to remember that topical does not always mean that you will have lesser or no side effects at all. You have to remember that medications that are applied topically still goes in our system but in a slower rate. So combining topical finasteride with minoxidil and oral finasteride shows more positive result than topical finasteride alone. So guys, recommendation still based on your doctor's assessment. But personally, I would still recommend the oral finasteride since it has more concrete studies and more positive results. So topical finasteride, although it shows some promising results for some, it still lack evidence-based research. So more studies are still needed. So there you go guys with our quick note on topical finasteride versus oral finasteride. And I hope that you guys learned something in our quick note. And guys, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up hit that notification bell for more updated videos and don't forget to share it with your friends and families and i'll see you guys again next time on my next videos bye bye